So there was a question about whether the material time derivative makes its appearance when the uh, dynamic equations of motion are written out for deformable bodies. It can, and again it's just a matter of choice whether we choose to write out the equations of motion for a deformable body in the Eulerian or Lagrangian description. In the case of fluids, which are deformable bodies, right? So you have a fluid, it's deformable. The equations of motion of, of a fluid are most conveniently written, referred back to that position in space, right? And therefore, we do indeed see this material time derivative making its appearance. For the equations of motion of a solid body, right? It is convenient to write these by actually following the motion of the particle as it tumbles through space, okay? And therefore, while the material time derivative does not make its, ex ex its appearance explicitly, it is of course hidden in there. It's just a matter of reparam reparametrizing the equations to write them in one form or the other.